April Fools, everybody. Hopefully, everybody uh, get ready for another volatile day in the market. We're back. First day of the month. Anybody do any good April Fool jokes? I don't, th I don't think this is a, uh, a joke. We're down 760 points today. <laughs> good morning to you too, Michael. Good morning, Chuck, Dennis, everyone, Phil. All right. So um, before I get started, uh, I just got to tell you something really funny uh, that I just did to my kids. Uh, actually, my, my uh, youngest, Lucas, uh, is 11 years old. He's going to fifth grade, and my neighbors live across the street, and they're, the kids are in the same grade. And uh, I did a really, really funny April Fool's joke, and I, my wife definitely needed it because she's losing her mind. I figured we graduate our kids early, you know, because homeschooling, now the kids are home from school, you know, for uh, this whole coronavirus. But we made a phony letter, and we told the kids, oh, we just got a letter from the principal. You guys got school today. They're like, what do you mean we got school? Oh, yeah, you got to go to school. You got to go to school. And they're like, what are you talking about, school? Yeah, you got to go to school. Come on, everyone, run, 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 everyone. We got to get ready. We're already late. Putting his shoes on, fix his hair, making all these noises and being upset and everything. Make a long story short, we got them all in the car, told them April Fool's. They came out throwing things at us, and we're like, it wasn't funny. It was just, it was, so uh, we just had to get a good laugh from them. That was pretty, you know. And we had, that's what it was, April Fool's. So go out there and do some of your April Fool's jokes. <laughs> I thought, but I thought that was pretty funny. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, guys, <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Dino Jeff. In the meantime, regarding my April Fool's, this is no um, joking around. The market is down. It was down 750. You know, I'll tell you the truth. Yesterday we had, a, um, we had Tom Sosnoff on from Tasty Works. And, uh, you know, we were talking. You know, obviously having more of an open conversation regarding about the market and our experience and what's going on with the market. And let me tell you, I mean, this is something, you know, it, you, by you guys being there and you being part of Cybertrain University, you kind of learn the experience of what we went through in some of the most harshest times. Remember, some of you here were never part of a, a, of a team and some of you never worked on the floor of the exchange or anything like we have. And how everybody reacts to it. I mean, this is a major catastrophe. And you know what? To hear what he's saying is what I've been saying, too. This is something that a lot of us really are, you know, um, not used to. We don't know how the markets can react to this. It's not like a financial crisis. It's not like a hurricane. It's not like, I mean, this is like a virus. And, you know, and then after hearing, you know, what I said on Sunday when the president came out and said they're expecting about 100 to 200 casualties. Uh, due to this virus, and we still don't have a cure. I mean, I, 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 the more they keep talking about that, I think the more the market does not like it. And now they trade, they they moved it to the end of the month of the uh, the stay away, and it's kind of making things the market probably a little bit on edge, a little bit. So, and the thing that you got to look at is that the market always is factoring in a month to two months down the road. So please keep that in mind. So, you know. With the market coming down, you know, some of you missed that nice little rally. Well, guess what? You might be able to jump back in that rally again. Uh, again. So we need to kind of test that bottom again a little bit. I don't know if we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, but hell, what the hell I know? I'm just a, a day trader. But it looks like, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be testing some support levels somewhere. All right. But in the meantime, we, uh, regarding about what's going on yesterday and today, remember the VVUS? Great mover, dollar stock went to 450. Look what's happening right now. It just got decimated. Stock just dropped from 280 down to a buck 70. We think that thing's ending up to go to right back to where it started. So there was a lot of stocks that we traded yesterday, and I want to kind of like bring them up because listen, you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade because there was one stock that we traded yesterday which was, and I want to bring back up, is the SGVX. Now, this thing was super volatile yesterday, all right? And I'm just going to bring up the what happened yesterday. So this stock, right at 1 o'clock, it ran from $4. It did not want to stop up until 3 o'clock. And let me tell you, this thing had some nasty shakes. And it ran after hours. When we saw it, did a little bit of a shake around nine dollars, nine twenty, and then boom! Like the last couple of minutes, it shot to ten, and then after hours, it went all the way to twelve. So this had everything looking that this was a great swing trade, everything else. 
boom, look where it opened up this morning, dropped all the way back down to five. So a tip of the day, guys, just when you think like you got a good runner going into the afternoon and you think it's strong, do yourself a favor. And this is one of the strategies we're going to talk about because today we have class. Um, we got phase three, lesson three and four uh, for all the gold and platinum students. So we're going to talk a lot about this. You can always buy it back tomorrow. Uh, can't short um, S uh, SGBX. Yeah, well, listen, you know what? That means it's not that the broker doesn't have any shares or maybe someone got there before you did, Ken. Uh, remember, that's how, that's how the shorting works. They only can allow you to short what's, uh, what they have in inventory. But, um, but anyway, that's trading, guys. You could always buy it back tomorrow. And you know what? Sometimes when you go back, and let me tell you, you're going to make this mistake. I mean, I make it once in a while. I, I'll buy hold a position overnight once in a while, but I only hold a position I can afford to lose it all tomorrow. But there was times I held a position, and I'm like, oh, the stock is strong just like this. Not as bad. But then I woke up the next morning, and I'm like, oh, not only did I, did I have a nice little profit, now I got a nice little loss. You know, so I lost that profit and the loss. And you just learn from experience. You could just buy it back. So the goal is this, nickels and dimes. Try to make your nickels and dimes um, because as of right now, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of shorting today. So regarding about what's going on in the market, I mean, I, there was so much bleeding and so many reds on my watch list. I mean, it's just like, it's like endless. I know a lot of you guys have already been looking at them, but, um, but we did pretty well yesterday on a couple of stocks. Um, there was that stock at AMRN, never came back. I'm going to put it on the watch list just to keep an eye on it. AMRN, that stock got destroyed yesterday. Just got totally crushed. Went from 14 all the way down to four. Never really came back. But I would think, I think well, I would keep an eye on it. The SGGX, everybody made money on that one yesterday. Felt it wrong. The SGBX, like I just talked about, the SGBX. That one, everyone did pretty well, but I'm just going to point out one more time. This is why you don't hold positions overnight. Now, um, let's go talk about what's moving this morning. There are a couple of stocks that are moving, but not the greatest in the watch list. I'm not completely sold on what's going on with the watch list, uh, but there was a couple of them that did show up on my watch screen. There was this one right here that did great after hours and then just literally took off. Went from 4, went away to 5.50 after hours, up to about 7 o'clock at night. Thing went up at 6.50, then it gapped up. But I feel like it's, it's testing some support levels right around here because of yesterday's support resistance levels is now its support levels today. So I will keep an eye right around these prices. You know, stock's got some really good orders out there. Trade already 3.3 million shares. You can look over there on the level three on the right-hand side. We're getting some good movement right there. QUMU, another one that gapped up pretty, uh, pretty good yesterday. You can see that right there. And then uh, just kind of hold. She got, she went up pretty high, but then she backed off. She went to 280, came back to 224. But she's testing yesterday's support levels. This is why I'm bringing this up. Everybody's like, well, is it? You know, what about when you look at it now? If the stock backed off where it started from eight o'clock, I know, but. It backed off and it stopped right here, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the next support level, and they can see that support levels right around the two dollar two dollar price range. So the stock being up thirty three percent, nine hundred thousand shares, got a ton of orders out there, iceberg orders. Something we want to keep an eye on. SCMI. Oops, spelled wrong. C M E um, C E M I. There we go. Another one that's up 28%, million shares, backed off a little bit. Maybe not super fan of this one, I'll be honest with you. Maybe I'll pass on that one. Sometimes you find them and sometimes you don't. VVUS, um, what is it saying over here? Uh, ben says uh, VVUS might have found the, uh, a support level at the 1060. Well, there is a 10,000 share buyer out there. Let's see. It's, it's, coming, it's coming to that price. So we'll see what's going to happen with it. It looks like it's been hovering there for a little while. So, yeah, it looks like it could be uh, a support level right there. But we got to test it. Let's see how it works. And also, there's another one here that's worth watching. IFRX. I was going to bring that one up. Up 62%. I mean, that's the one I – actually, I'm saying that's the one I brought up earlier. So, anyway, that one had the support levels from yesterday, kind of tested it, and we're right there. So, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. You could see it right here. It's the biggest percentage gainer on the in the entire stock market. There's this other one right here, DNNF. The stock uh, 
it, but it, once again, penny stock under a dollar. You got to be careful with this stocks, okay? But um, this is another one that's obviously coming up on the watch list. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, listen, we know about all the brand name stocks. You know, we, we know about the cruise stocks. You know, the, obviously they're all going to be affected. I don't need to go into them in great detail. We're gonna we'll, we'll, we'll trade them when we get when the market opens up. But as in some of the stocks that are actually benefiting from the the coronavirus, these are the ones we probably want to keep an eye on. All right, all right, guys. Anything I am I'm missing? I did not call out. Now remember, today is the first day of the pay period. Okay. And that is not a joke, all right? That is actually, I know it's April Fool's, but that is not a joke. Usually a lot of things don't like to happen. A lot of people don't like to screw things around around the first day of the month. So, you know, that's why you never find, uh, that's why you never find earnings the last day to pay period and the first day to pay period. But uh, today's the first day of, of, of April. So I think we're going to, you know, you have to ease into a couple of stocks that are going in there. But we're, as of right now, nothing really jumps out at me like yesterday. Uh, I'm not completely sold with certain stocks out there that are moving. We're not like last week where we clean killed it. But listen, remember, that was last month. That was last month. This is a new month. That was last week. This is a new week. Every every day is a different a different adventure. So, but we always find some new ones that will be um, that that will show up. So when the market opens up, we'll go out there and share it. So remember, if you see something, say something. And then hopefully all you new members that are here that are trying this out, Cyber Train University, just kind of re just reiterate to everybody. Remember, just look, listen, and learn. I know it's going to probably seem a little fast for you, but it's really not. It's just this is something new. You just got to know how to play the game, and that's what it's all about. All right, guys? Good luck today. Happy trading. And don't forget, if you're a gold or a platinum student, I will be seeing you right now um, in the other room where we're going to go out there and trade together. And remember, it's not about making money. It's about controlling losses. All right? Good luck, everybody. Happy trading.